Nemhard stepping through, using the glass. Count the basket system. With the Lithuanian junior national team. Martinez's dad actually played with Arvidas Sabonis. Mm -hmm. Of course, Demontis, Arvidas' son, played. At the Sam Hart at the point when Suggs isn't in the game. They're both in there right now. And, and what a gift it was for Gonzaga. Jay, as you know, it was two days before the start of the season when the Zacks found out that Nemhart had received the waiver from the NC. Sheebway with a cut, a little bit strong. Kispert in traffic down for the Zags. Nice job by Watson to get in there and almost take a charge. Ah, how about the Canadian? Big guys have done most of the damage to the Zags in this game. And underway here for the second half of our Sonic Blockbuster, number one against Zaga, number 11 of West Virginia. In the first game of two here with the Jimmy V coaches. I mean, there's no hiding anything in the arena right now. Well, and you can hear when teams are talking on defense and when they are not. Boy, Nemhar feed there by Cottrell to get the assist. And West Virginia back within one. Eight minutes to go. Great. And he has given the Mountaineers the lead. Nemhard shakes one defender, gets another one in the air, and scores. And just bring Zaga to put themselves in a position to win. What a pass. Wow. Nemhard into two. He loves coaching his boys and having them around and being part of uh, this experience. For him. So they play it straight, too. They don't give him a hard time. Most times. Three points. Gamble could have cost them there. Open middle, you can dribble drive and find people. Them Hart, he got free. Eight point lead for Gonzaga. Everybody use both sides of the floor. Dribble drive set things up like Kisperto has a season high in made threes already in this first half. But they really keep busy, don't they? Look at Timmy just kept moving. That was defense opens up shots like that. Ability attack in the rim, you saw it right there. Skip to Ayayi, Joel, Joel Sir. Yeah, young man who had a good game uh, against San Diego the other day. He's getting more time. He's only a sophomore. Namor knocks it down. No, you imagine, sir, but we've seen him hit Yeah, that. much like Gonzaga with a lot of foreign players, international players. Timmy inside. Awesome. They are hard to keep out of the lane right now. I really like Jamari Bouye. He's a senior. This part. Okay. He is unbelievable. Nice cut. Damn hard left hand's good. And that makes Pepperdine a completely different team. Older brother Cameron had a terrific career in Malibu. Graduated last year. The way they score. Uh, they're such a, a great offensive team, but I think by the end of the season, it's going to be awfully difficult to play against Baylor. It's tough to play against them now, but the end of the day. Uh, I, I think Jermon Howard has just done a tremendous job, and they have one of the best recruiting classes in the hey! country coming in next to look forward to. And both these coaches have sons that are seniors in high school, whether it's Mark Few's son Joe or Chase, Randy Bennett's. Nice job of spreading the floor right now. It's making rotations long. Gonzaga hasn't been able to get there. And field goal percentage defense as well as making shots themselves. Coming off a nice win against Portland, though, in their last outing. What a pass. There's tons of programs who tried to get Colby Ross to transfer. He wanted to stay with Lorenzo Romar and see what this Waves team could accomplish. Nice their guard play has been a lot more consistent. And Andrew Jones is one of the best stories in college basketball. Nemhard steals one away, and then he switched to the left hand. Good, the bounce. So uh, this is a, a really talented, kind of deep top five, and I think Suggs is right in that mix as well. Andrew Nemhard. Nemhard's really playing well. Great pass to Cook. Substitutions for Pacific. Bailey checks out. Nemhard off the high screen. Well, the defense just left off. 
Already five BYU turnovers, so that's a big reason why the Cougars are off to such a sluggish start. Second game in a row against the Zags. Great little quick release. Timmy, the big man, can bring it up. And hard on the attack, floats it in. Double header between West Virginia and Texas Tech. West Virginia, they can score. It's about their offense right now. It's been a long time since we said that. For COVID issues. And I, I would expect that the Wolverines might have some of those same problems. We'll see. Maybe they'll prove me wrong. But uh, it's not easy to, to not play, not practice for weeks in the middle of the season and come back and just hit the ground running. Emhart well, three game on the season, and that's not even enough to lead his own team. Drew Timmy is just ahead of him, and here's another steal, and it'll be Nemhard. Influence out on the floor. Yeah, plays like a. I mean, he's a junior, but he plays like a guy in his late twenties. He's got kind of an old feel to him, and another picky. But this team can do even better than it did. And how about turning over St. Mary's twelve times in the first half, and that's where Gonzaga is lethal, uh, turning miscues into points at the other end. Andrew Nemhard leans. Number 24 is going to deliver. Boy, Kispert's going to knock down some shots. Nemhard has proven that he can knock down some shots. Suggs is getting better from shooting from beyond the arc. Whoa, so what a move, right? Right? This year for Gonzaga into the game. Nemhard, great left handed find. And they lost a couple games. Loyola Marymount, San Diego. But the win over Pepperdine was a great sign. Greg, how about the kid? Hard probing, Kispert shooting, drills it. With the shot clock winding down, it was an air ball. Them hard. That was a real straight for Randy Bennett. I mean, his teams usually have very good flow at the offensive end. We went back to some of those games. Off the bounce, and, and even though he got a little bit deeper than the logo area, I think that's where he can find a lot of success in this game. First half against BYU and Provo, he was shooting three rotation and blocks the shot. Excellent job defensively, awareness of where the ball is, and, and making sure you're staying in front of it. Oh, time, right place, right time. But that's the shot that the Bulldogs want you to take under duress. At that time, able to benefit, speed by benefit years. Right. He took over the program after that as the head coach. Now in his eighth year, done a great job. We have the Miak, here's Kispert for three, man. Paige Beckers, they're at UConn. They're like family, grew up, didn't have a really good game against Tennessee. But can you imagine coming from right around the same area in Minnesota? Those two outstanding young players show you the talent. And then Gonzaga gets it right back. Suggs. So Oklahoma gets a steal, and then Suggs brings it back. Nemhard step back with Manning's hand in his face. Creating the transition for Oklahoma. But guess who's there? Nemhard brings it right back. Interception. Nemhard reads thought about trying to charge. Instead, it's cool kicks are on Coach Kruger's feet. He's got Billy Tubbs, Lou Hill, Anthony Stewart, and Jude Starkey's names on his shoes. I think he's going to be key at both ends of the floor early on. Make sure he doesn't pick up fouls against Timmy in the, in the post. Ayayi uh, has shot it well in this tournament. Chip shot goes here. That's the Jefferson Suggs matchup. That's a good one. Here's another good matchup with Mahoney and Kispert. Nemhard, the former Florida standout. That jump shot is good. That one died at the rim, and Nemhard comes away with it. Look at the balance, though. Three or four guys back in a hurry because they know where the shot's going when Zegarowski goes. Nemhard, ball fake. And the Gator imperfectly just then to allow the play to develop for the easy bucket underneath. St. Louis, Missouri native. Caught Brenner in the box score. Roll to the rim. The time here for Watson. Back in off the double. Ball movement. Ayahi has shot it well. Kick. Good reaction. Nemhard post up. And he's got size. And he's got the Duke. In and out. Rebounded by Timmy. Reload here for Gonzaga. The hard cut. Nemhard with it. And have had a number of chances in the first half and the second half already. About a total of six of layups that they didn't put in. Nemhard. Watch out. For the Imagine number one scoring team in the country. 
Also, number one margin of victory, 23 and a half points per game. That's the differential. So smooth. They come right back and get a good shot. Very infrequently do they make a mistake after a bucket. Nice yep. look. What a fine. Yeah. His 22nd year as the head coach at Gonzaga. So I think that we did the NCAA tournament in Memphis 2001. Getting to the red side. White, his three point shooting the other night was terrific, and he gets it taken away. Another turnover. The other way. Chipping his way down, getting the. SC points. Crook the other way for Gonzaga. Nemhart. Beautiful shot. Ayayi. And now they give it off to Nemhart. Wide open Kispert for three. Because uh, Kispert, he has really not had an opportunity to get free. Hard. With the body, able to get the air respect. So they are really going to open up the lane, though. Yeah. Oh, what a touch. Joel and, uh, and Corey and Jalen. Just to see, hey, you guys will be comfortable with bringing a premier player in here. They said, bring him on. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Timmy has to touch the ball here on this offensive end. Kisper. How can he this? Oh, nice pump. They've been creating that mismatch consistently. And hard. Top of the key. Oh, oh, it's right on both ends of the floor. It's their biggest deficit of the whole season. 15. Problem is, Timmy's not the big factor he has to be. Automatic switching. And they are really off their game, aren't they? No question. Good pass. Back to Timmy for two. How do you push it quickly? On the run. We're going to get an open look here. Still driving. As the trailer walks in. Oh, vital. That is how they do it. They start with the ball screen. Generally dives to the box. Gets the mismatch he wants. The timing hasn't been good. And Hart waits and gets it. Is on the floor. Stretched out. Then hard. Look at this harassing. Suck step back three. She moved out of state and shit and went left. She's seeking forgiveness. She used to dance, but she went alone and start up a business. Her daddy is not around. Her mama is not around.